Alright, um, I'm going to show you how to set up the PEATL files that were released by me, Chrome Wolf. Alright, so first you're going to download the files I gave you, and they should be named www for Mediafire. You're going to download XAMPP, you're going to start everything, you know, what you regularly do. Then you're going to paste it into, hold up, i got to rename Alright, and this is going to be a pretty long tutorial since there are a lot of steps. So, it has to do this. Alright, anyways, while you're doing that, you have to get the, um, the database that I also have and the, um, the, you need the, emulator which is right here and I'm going to get all that stuff alright so while we're waiting uh, I'm going to go to localhost slash phpmyadmin and we're going to put in the database right now so let's see how it's doing alright you want it alright you're going to want to name it Seattle DB because that's what it, it was normally config to so you're going to click create All right, uh, um, for you you guys it won't be like this but then you're going to go to actually no I'm just going to delete hold up let me see I'll just delete this database Alright, so you're going to create EATLDB -E and with a underscore. Then you're going to click import and then find the directory where the, the database is. And it should be backup to the uh, backup2.sql. You can click go and import it. Alright. Now it's uh, finished, so you're going to want to empty almost everything you want to empty the uh, user items user friends user factions user band users and then you want to empty this so you have the files right here or no they are right here at one two three and I'm gonna rename it to EATL test uh, server. So I'm gonna go in here. So if we go over here localhost that's the EATL server uh, you can't connect to the database. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna download um Notepad++ or Dreamweaver, either one is fine, but um, you want to remove the password and then just save it. So now you can um, you can see that there's an error, and what you want to do is you want to go to temporary, and then go to template headers, and edit with Notepad++. And where it says echo meta, you want to enter a new line above that, put in the PHP symbol, and put in meta equals meta, and then you're going to put a end, and there. Then save it, refresh, and now you have this. Also, I'll be posting most of the codes in the description box. So now you have this, an undefined offset one. So what I did to fix this is I went to the template menus, clicked edit with notepad plus plus, where it said line nine, I just made it zero. And click yes. 
So now we have another error. So it says template submenus.php. So we want to edit it with notepad plus plus. And it says undefined variable h right here. So what you can do is that, and hopefully this will work. Yep, it worked. So now you want to go over to the um, CMS posts and empty that. The private messages and empty that. Um, so if you refresh, it's all there, and you can just edit or you can just um, insert it from right here. So just put in one Chrome Wolf test video test. And then for the date, just click that button, click 28, press go, and refresh, and it's right here. Now, we want to get the sign up to work. So, as you see, it's blank. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go to signup.php, edit it with notepad++, and see, it's blank. So, you want to find the um, directory the thing is. So, right here, it says game and game files well, what you want to change that to is eattle server oh wait and then after eattle server you want to put in game and it should work see now you have it so uh... just you can regularly sign up the sign up doesn't fully work i don't know why but um you know you can put in like test one two three and then cxc.com and I agree alright now it's frozen right so but if you go over here into the users it's not there so what you have to do is you go to game and then go to cf user sign up and remove the password and save it. Then you want to go to CF user login and remove the password. Well, and the reason you're removing the password is because most likely your database doesn't have a password. So um, since your database doesn't have a password, it wouldn't be able to connect. So now if we go over here, it's right there. Um, now we want to go to game. So right here you see that there is an undefined index. So what should work is that you go to here and put in error reporting equals zero. There. Like this. Um, wait, wait, wait. messed something up. There, and now that little error is gone. Now you see that it's again blank, so you just have to edit it right here. Refresh, and you got the loader working. So it's getting the client version. Alright, so. Now you see that it has this. So just go to ETL servers, click insert and uncheck ignore. So put in one zero zero alpha or something one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one and then go to the next line, put in two and then put in like beta or something and then put in a different IP or if whenever you start the server then it will start both of the servers and then it will just look really weird so now you have two servers log in and both of them are offline because you do not have a emulator so you're going to download the emulator I give in the description box and put it in the directory because that's probably the smartest thing to do so you want to Put, make the database what you named your database and then put in your whatever your real IP or whatever you're using to host the server and then click save so you run it 
the uh, password is mystic with M capitalized XYO with X capitalized so it's loading login it's on and there you have it your PEATL server thanks for watching comment subscribe whatever you know